Hmm. Every day, new madness. Hello, family. It's your favorite girl, Ella OKC, and I welcome you back to Just Central. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified on our next upload. I know I keep saying this thing that some people are not okay and common sense is not really common. A man celebrated his birthday and the best venue for the occasion was in the, in the mortuary. This supposed man is from Ghana. I know Ghanaians are always weird. Please pardon me for that. This man took his friends. He invited people to his birthday party and the venue is in the cemetery. And I paused for a while to even think. Not this said man, he's not the only one that is crazy. I mean, the people he invited also bought the idea and they turned up, turned up for him because this said man told them to dress on white as the color of the day was white and white that was what he wanted his birthday that was the outfit he wants everyone he invited to wear which is very very strange because there was a comment i saw under this news and the person was like are you sure these people are not dead already i mean for them to celebrate birthday party in a cemetery and then having his friends to come around him showing up like they are not even scared at the fact that it's a cemetery this is really funny and you guys know the most craziest part of this news after celebrating his birthday in a supposed cemetery he keep on getting nightmares he keep on getting eerie feeling he made it public that he regretted celebrating his birthday in a cemetery and he also added that ever since he celebrated his birthday in a cemetery, he's been haunted non-stop. And it's something to about. My questions keep remaining. Why would you celebrate your birthday in a cemetery? What are you even trying to call? Are you trying to host? I mean, out of all the locations in the world, out of all the nicest places, the simplest places, the most classic places, or even the very low standard places that he was supposed to stay and celebrate his birthday. Because... He made it obvious that it was just a simple get together with a few friends that are very close to him. And then he extended, maybe he went, he just wanted to do something out of the blue. He wanted to do something extraordinary, something people or someone has never done in history. Maybe he, he wants to enter the World Guinness Book of Record. I mean, the first man that celebrated his birthday in a cemetery. Gee, that was way too crazy. I mean, out of all the things he was supposed to do, out of all the things he was supposed to do, break record. He feels that's the best way to go about it. Now, this same young man has been complaining that he's being haunted every night. He said he cannot just close his eye and then sleep. He cannot even take a little nap without someone trying to squeeze his neck or someone trying to press his neck or something. And then this bizarre video has gone viral on the internet and received mixed reaction captured the birthday celebrant and his friends or loved ones celebrating at the cemetery in a community in Ghana. You see, when we keep on talking about Nigeria, we know Nigeria is not so good. Nigeria will do a lot of crazy things, a lot of stupid things and all. But have we talked about Ghana? I mean, it has never been heard that a man celebrated his birthday in a cemetery, yet in Nigeria. But what's happening in Ghana, whoa? A man left every place he was supposed to celebrate his birthday and he feels the right appropriate place was in a cemetery, a place for the dead. And you know what got me? In this video, they were like celebrating. They never cared at all that it was a cemetery. I mean, it never occurred to them or what. And I am still stunned at the fact that his friends was able to put up with him. This same friend could not even, his friends or loved ones or whatever, could not even query him or, or ask him, or better still, not even turn up because it's really scary. I mean, life and death has nothing in common. And I don't know what this young man is trying to prove in celebrating his birthday in a cemetery. I don't know if probably he, you know, there are so many things to, you know, this news, it goes like, it will make you think so many crazy things, so many scary things. Like a comment I saw, 
the person was saying that this man knows what he's doing maybe the native doctor he visited asked him to do this or maybe his awkward people or his coven people made him do this for wealth or fame or you can name it this said young man is not having it as he's not accepting the fact that people are saying bad things about him and saying he did that because maybe that's what his awkward people told him to do he's begging and then he's regretting why he even celebrated his birthday and i was just wondering within myself you that left out the venue to celebrate your birthday in a cemetery what were you expecting hello it has never been heard and of course where dead people are I would just say maybe they really like the music you guys played there. Maybe they enjoy themselves. Or maybe the leftovers, the drinks and all. The dead people there, they ate it or something. And then they don't want to let you go because they now feel you a sweet big boy. So why won't they haunt you? Why won't they show up in your dream? They want to be bodies with you now. So you, you throw more parties for them. You throw more parties at the cemetery. They just want to be your best friend for life because in as much as you feel your sense is complete to go celebrate your birthday in an unspeakable place. And the annoying part that this, this said young man is yet to tell us what triggered him to choose such venue. And then his line of friends is also very questionable as they all showed up in white, make merriment and then act like if it's nothing to them they acted like it's a normal kind of place to make celebrations which is really really scary and now he's being wanted they want to press my neck they want to kill me and i've been asking why won't they press your neck in the night why would they want to kill you when you have already you've ordered casket for them you you did dorime for them there why won't they want to kill you why wouldn't they want to come after you of course they want to kill you now so that you can come and join them in the land of the dead so you can throw more parties for them come on common sense is really not common as it is so and as news and reports could have it when this man was haunted recently he left his clothes and he ran out of his house naked sweating and in distress i've just been wondering i wonder what they have done to him i wonder shouting and screaming on the streets that he can't sleep he kept on seeing um things that are very scary he kept he kept on hearing voices that are obviously from the cemetery and i'm, I'm also wondering hello how do you know voices that is from the cemetery if you don't have anything to do there are so many secrets and hidden things people will not let you know they only want to tell you their problem Nobody knows why he left places to celebrate in a cemetery. And obviously, this is his cross to carry because there is nothing anybody can do about it else he's going to turn on to the God he believed in to save him. Because it's very weird. If it's some pastors that you meet and then you complain your problem to, the first, uh, you know, Christianity is covering so many things. The first thing some radical pastors will do is to give you a holy knock because you brought this obviously on yourself. And you want to stress another person just because the person is a pastor. You brought this upon yourself, so you have to carry your cross. But then again, there are so many powers, there are so many demons behind most things human beings do. And aside from demonic possession and awe, there is also one thing that is certain, which is stupidity. Like I've always told you guys that common sense is actually not common. So guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to give it a share, and I believe you subscribe, but if you've not, please, please subscribe and turn on post notification. I remain your favorite girl, Ella OKC, bringing you amazing talks and shows. Keep watching Gist Central. God bless you.